Hello and welcome back to another video tutorial by IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. My name is Eric and today I have an ASUS laptop. It is model G60V for Victor. And uh, it is an older laptop, but these systems, when they were released, they were released primarily for gamers. They had higher end specs. And in my opinion, ASUS puts out a good product. So what I'm going to be showing you guys today is this particular system is having some issues with um, overheating. The fan is running quite loud. The uh, computer sounds like it's about to take off. It, uh, it just sounds ridiculously loud. And what we need to do is figure out what's causing this, uh, the, the fan to overwork itself. Now, you don't want a computer to overheat. That can cause some pretty bad damage to the processor. And, and sometimes with older machines, it's probably just cheaper to get a new computer. So what I'm going to show you guys to do here today is we're going to simply just take off one plate from this computer system. And we're going to take a either a can of dust or the data vac, which is what we uh, use and recommend. I did a tutorial on the, I'm sorry, I did a review on the DataVac about uh, at least a year ago when I purchased it, and it was the best $40 I spent in 2011, believe me. It is a awesome little device. It takes up the cost of can air, I mean, is completely out the door. So what you want to do first to get into this computer system and reveal its inner components is remove the battery, and that's on any laptop. So in this case, I'm going to release the put the battery on the unlock position which is right there and then we'll go ahead and just slide this unlock position to the right and the battery should just slide out like so so there's the battery we'll put that aside here and to reveal the inner components of this system it actually is quite simple you'll need just a basic bit this is a uh, screwdriver bit, um, a star, what I call them, but uh, I believe it's, I don't know the technical term, I'm not a uh, tool specialist, but uh, just use a star screwdriver that'll fit and that'll work just fine. It was a total of about 15 screws, I believe, but the ones you'll need to take off you'll see are one, two, and I'm just pointing out the screws that we're removing to get into the computer, and here's my last screw that I did not remove so there's the screw and this plate should just pop right off and look at that now this is actually a pretty neat design because this allows us to get into the computer like we need to and take a look at if we needed to swap out the hard drive uh, we have a secondary hard drive bay here uh, we have our heat sink which is this little golden or uh, copper tube looking. Um, we have our processor that sits underneath that. Of course, we can see our motherboard that's right underneath the processor that's plugged into it. We have this exhaust fan, which is right here, that connects to the heat sink, provides the cooling and exhaust for the processor. And you can actually see, guys, that this thing is just filthy dirty. So that is the thing I'm going to be blowing out and cleaning up. We're also going to be removing these two screws to get underneath the processor, maybe apply some more thermal paste on that to make sure that it stays cool. Uh, over here we have, <clears throat> looks like we have some more processing chips. Uh, we have one here, and these might be graphics cards, to tell you the truth. I, I, until I get underneath them, I can't see. Uh, here's the Intel wireless card, which if we remove this little piece of plastic will reveal that and see that we have an antenna and the card is right there so if you wanted to replace that if you were having issues with the wireless this is the piece we're going to be replacing so we also have our RAM which if you release these two hinges you can pull out just like so all pretty simple guys so ASUS did a great job at putting everything just uh, one plate away from us being able to access it and get into the computer and do what we need to do. So again, if you need to get into the computer to clean it up, um, this one in particular was running hot, it was spinning hot, it was loud, it sounded like it was about to take off. So what I'm going to do is now that I've revealed the inner components, I'm going to take that data back and these are the things I'm going to blow out. I'm going to blow this fan out to make sure that that gets cleaned up. 
I'm also going to remove these screws here to check underneath the processor to see what kind of what I'm looking at on the thermal paste. If we need to clean that off, then I would wipe it down. Of course, you want to do everything static free. Apply a little bit to your finger and you can just rub it on or you can put one blotch like a little dot on the processor and stick it back on there and it will flatten out itself. So um, if you wanted to upgrade the RAM, the RAM again is right here. You can buy an upgrade kit. If this is a 64-bit OS, it should have no problem doing 8 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, if you wanted to add a secondary hard drive for backup, this is the bay it would sit in. And this is your hard drive. If you wanted to do any data recovery, you would then mo move this hard drive, take it out, and set it up on a USB to, I'm sorry, to a SATA to USB adapter. So, in this video, we talked about the Asus G60 laptop. We got into the computer and revealed the major components of it. If you guys have any questions regarding this tutorial, please leave them in the comments section. You can follow us on Twitter. That's twitter.com forward slash IT conflict. Please like us on Facebook. That's facebook.com forward slash IT conflict. Our website is www.itconflict.com. And again, please subscribe. This is Eric with IT Conflict Computer Repair in Austin, Texas. Thanks for watching.